Well, I was really pleased with how I went in my effort and behaviour report and there was only a couple of things that I might have needed to improve on. Uh, term 1 effort and behaviour report, I went surprisingly better than I thought I was going to. Uh, year 11 being twice more stressful than year 10, you don't really um, expect it. You know, people tell you but you don't really anticipate how it's going to be. And um, I think I went better than I was anticipating and there are things I need to fix up. But yeah, I think I went pretty well. Like, getting started wasn't really easy when I came back, but I think I did pretty well. It went as well as expected. Um, I think I went pretty well, um, better than I usually do. Um, just need to improve more in engaging in class and asking questions and making sure that I'm really listening, yeah. Um, I think I went pretty well, actually. It was nice to see that, um, like, the feedback was different. Normally it's just marked by letters like A's and B's and stuff, but it's nice to know it goes into greater detail, stuff like that. But yeah, it was nice because it reflects on what kind of student I am um, and it's great to see all my hard work pay off. Probably it was bringing stuff into class and for geography and completing homework in English, but otherwise all good. Definitely organisation. I have trouble remembering things and uh, getting things in on time, which I need to improve on. But um, you know, I get on class on time, um, strangely earlier than everybody else it seems to me. But um, yeah, organisation definitely, just for getting books and things like that, I definitely need to work on. Well, just, I really want to, like last year, I always wanted to pay attention more in science and PE because I didn't really do well. So I think that will be just continuing on like that, just paying, paying more attention. I can improve in visual arts by getting to class on time and probably packing up a little quicker. Um, just keep going at it and being consistent with everything. Maybe like involve more, like putting my hand up and answering questions, not just like letting someone else take the team teamwork on. Uh, classroom behaviour, I'm a very active spirit. I plan to follow the guidelines, like the questions are there for a reason. I think that's why they changed the effort and behaviour report, it's to give family members and whatever a go into basically more depth of how it's going rather than just A's and B's and so on. It's just just keep it up, you don't strive to be a bad student, you strive to be a good student and that's what consistent is for. Uh, get a pencil case. That'll do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just not dilly-dallying pretty much. Probably just by putting in extra hours after class and on top of everything else that I do. Listen to the teacher, just obey what she says, make sure I'm a bit more organised and stay on track. Um, by not seeing next to anyone that disrupts me. Uh, maybe concentrate more and like just uh, put my hand up and say, and even though it's not wrong, at least I'm having a try at it. Um, just like writing everything down that needed to be done and starting assignments on time and stuff, so yeah. Well, with a new structure, it's more easy to see where you've gone wrong and like where you need to improve. I mean, with the last one, you would just say, yeah, a or B like for effort behaviour and you don't really see where you've gone wrong so I think it's good. I think it's really helpful because it um, puts everything into categories so you know exactly where you're lacking and what you need to improve on as opposed to just going well in the whole subject not one like it tells you about one part of it and so you know where you need to improve and you can get the teacher to help you with that if you want yeah. I think it allows me to target what I really need to work on and then it also shows me what I'm going really well at. Yeah, it helps me to see where I'm going well and my downfalls and this allows me to put it, like, help me in class discussions. Well, the effort and behaviour report is very helpful and it clearly states the things in class that you might need some help on. I reckon it's better than just saying effort and behaviour. I reckon it gives you more strategies so you can look back saying that's why I went wrong. Maybe next time I can improve on that. 
Look, looking back on it, you can see, you know, where you need to improve and what you're doing well at so you can, you know, keep doing what you're doing and getting the marks that you want to get. And um, it's important to get good marks and to get good in year 11. Is, um, as much as I hate to admit it, you know, it's difficult and sometimes I think it's, um, you know, won't necessarily, you know, help me in the future. But, you know, when you think about it, it's going to. And um, those, those comments and those marks really do help you advance in, you know, studies and work and effort and stuff. Yeah. Well, I think it's, uh, it helps, like, you learning more and more harder it gets, actually more harder you're learning. And basically, you've, got, you've made a new structure of going into a better path. Um, well, I like the way they've set it out this year because they really like break down how I can improve in all key learning areas and show how I can do better for the next term. I think it means just putting your head down, doing work, um, always listening to the teacher and paying attention in class. Engaged student, uh, good one. Uh, you know, just being engaged in your work, especially your work, you know, you have to kind of zone out from people trying to talk to you in the ear and, you know, boys behind you kind of messing things up a bit. Uh, you have to concentrate, you have to, you know, set yourself a goal. Listen to the teachers, because they help you a lot. Um, you know, just being engaged what, with what people are telling you, with the help they're giving you, because it's gonna, it's gonna help you out in the long run a lot. So, being positive, I think, really gets you anywhere, really, because when you be positive, you work harder. Positive learner is someone who stays strong, keeps on track, and makes sure they're happy no matter what happens. A uh, positive learner is some is someone who shows up to class wanting to learn instead of just going, oh wow, it's another class, yeah. I think it means just coming to class with the right attitude because attitude is pretty much everything in what you do, so. Um, to be an independent learner means that you have to take responsibility for yourself and you need to show that you can work like by yourself and you don't need people to help you and if you miss out on a class, you need to be able to catch up without relying on the teacher and being able to do assessments and stuff without coming for questions all the time and showing that you can do it by yourself and yeah. To be an independent learner, I think you have to have the ability to work alone, to do stuff on yourself and not depend on anyone else. I can connect to learners is that you're connecting with the other learners and you're learning what they're learning as much as you are. Well, to be connected, it's to know a lot of people and to have a lot of people know you. Getting to um, learn from other people. E. P. I. C. Everybody! I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Harris, who's my inspiration for everything and my positive learning. Shout out to my sisters. Hang in there, guys. <laughs>